Well, the Chief of Defence Staff has asked the federal government to provide more funding for the Nigerian Armed Forces. General Abayomi Olunishaki made the appeal in Abuja while delivering a lecture at the 24th course of the National Defence College. According to the Defence Chief, between 2009 and 2014, Monetary allocations to the armed forces have continued to dwindle even in the face of rising security challenges. It says even where appropriations for the military are raised, more is allocated to recurrent expenditure with very little for the purchase of military hardware and training. The ability of the armed forces to contain contemporary emerging and future threats would depend on the funds available to improve its capability through the procurement of new platforms, training, equipment, as well as research and development. However, defense allocation in Nigeria has reduced in recent times due to other competing interests. Nigeria defense expenditure fell in 2014 even with increased oil revenue and insurgent activities in Northeast Nigeria. A comparison of the real values of Nigeria recurrent and capital defense expenditure from 1980 to 2010 indicates that the bulk of Nigerian defense expenditure is allocated to recurrent expenditure, leaving the military with little or no outlay for capital expenditure. Even with a rise in appropriation to the defense sector in 2011 to 348 billion, recurrent expenditure rose to 305 billion, while capital expenditure fell by fell to 59.25 billion. Thus, it could be adduced that the defense expenditure outlay did not channel adequate resources for the development of the armed forces. This is a major challenge to the armed forces of Nigeria, which can be overcome through the application of effective and efficient procedure and best practices.